it is time for a live after five. Here's a crowd shot, live look at that end of summer concert series, rockin' downtown Mankato, held in Civic Center Plaza from 5 to 7.30 p.m. every Thursday evening, now through August 31st. The band is on a short little break, we're told, but it is music to our ears to have Sean back from Alaska. Hey, Sean. Hey, hey, hey. good time out there. They've yeah. got a lot of music. There's a reggae band playing out there tonight. And uh, they're going to play until 7.30 once they get done with their little break. And KEYC is a sponsor, but also Shell's Beer is a sponsor. So I like that. You can pick up a good little <laughs> beverage tonight as well. They have lots of food, too. So a great night for that. Uh, and actually a really nice night for maybe a cold one, whether it's a water, soda, or a beer, because it is a little muggy out there this afternoon. Take a look at this. This is our... Live Doppler, you can see that we have a few thunderstorms out in South Dakota, and there are some warnings on those. They've got some big old whopping hail, ping pong ball, or larger size hail with storms west of Watertown out toward Mitchell. And as we make our way through the evening, this whole line is going to kind of fill in and move to the east. We're going to get some of those a little bit later, and I'll talk more about that coming up. There is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect, mainly west of the Minnesota-South Dakota line until 11 o'clock after that. Those storms are going to move into our neck of the woods, but as the sun sets, we're going to lose a little energy. So not as likely that the storms will be severe when they kick through here, but it is possible. More on that in a bit. Uh, live view. This is uh, Bethany Lutheran College. You can see that it looks great outside. A little hazy. 78. Wind southeast to 10. That dew point. 66. So uh, enough moisture in the air to provide fuel for those thunderstorms. Generally 70s to the east at 79 in Owatonna. 78 Mankato. New Ulm at 77. We have 80 in Slayton, 81 in Wyndham. See that line of thunderstorms. We actually have a warm front here. That's going to spark storms this evening and overnight. That cold front of the west is going to kick through tomorrow. That's going to bring another quick shot of thunderstorms tomorrow. Mid to late afternoon into the evening. Those storms will actually move out rather quickly tomorrow evening. So we're not expecting a lot out of those. Here's the hour by hour forecast through this evening. Now I think this model is overdoing things a little bit, but it kind of gives you a general idea as to what we're expecting. 8 o'clock. Storms moving into the far western part of Minnesota. They'll continue to push eastward by about 10 o'clock. Now, we may have to uh, adjust the timing on this a little bit, depending on how the storms move, if they speed up or slow down a little bit, which is possible. But here we are at about 10 o'clock, Mankato area. Sometime between 10 and midnight is when I expect we will see a few thunderstorms here. As we take you into the overnight, everything moves off to the east and everything winds down. Now, let me take you to tomorrow. Going to start at 2 p.m., just a couple of thunderstorms developing kind of along the Minnesota River, west of Mankato. Everything will develop and push eastward as we take you through Friday afternoon with a couple of clusters of storms, and they could be severe. Hail and wind once again will be the main threat, and then everything will move out by late tomorrow. That's going to leave us with a really nice start to the weekend. Hey, uh, real quick, it is Drought Monitor Day. This is last week's. Here is the new one that came out today. Not much different. And actually, we're doing pretty good here in southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, with a few uh, spots with dry to the east a little worse, but we do have more rain in the forecast. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms, a couple of strong, 64. 84 tomorrow, warm and humid with scattered thunderstorms. Another chance of rain, and this could be widespread rain on Sunday into Sunday night. Monday, Tuesday into next week, we are going to be sunny, comfortable, and mostly dry right on through next week and beyond. That's what's going on. Stacy and Dion, going to send it back over to you. Sounds good. Thanks, Sean. Well, the Minnesota Vikings first preseason action is upon us. The team's gearing up to take on the Seattle Seahawks tonight. Preseason football looks a little bit different in the past, so many of the starters probably won't play until the team's next game against the Tennessee Titans. All the action starts late. It'll be at 9 p.m. start right here on KEYC CBS. Well, due to football, KEYC News Now will air tonight at 10 on our NBC station. Among the stories, you will see a slight uptick in inflation. My experts say we don't need to worry just yet. And a new COVID variant is emerging in the U.S. What you need to know about EG5. We'll have those stories and more tonight at 10 o'clock on KEYC NBC. And you can find us all the providers you see listed on your screen, including Comcast, Consolidated, Dish, DirecTV, and of course, over the air. Join us at 10 on NBC. We'll be right back. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Bombgars. What you need, when you need it.